Welcome to another episode of Risk. Today we are playing another 5 player fixed card game which is being played with my subscribers. And I guess we are going to figure out how this game goes guys. Let's ally with everyone first of all so we will be able to send the attack request to each other. And then we are going to see how the game goes. I have some troops in North America, Europe and Australia guys. So which continent I should go for? So far I'm not really sure but it looks like there are a lot of other troops in Europe. So that wouldn't probably be an ideal continent to go for. And to go for North America could potentially be risky. Probably other players wouldn't really appreciate me holding to border North America. So if the purple player doesn't add his troops in Australia, then I think I will go for Australia myself. I think that will be the safest continent to go for as of now. But if he adds his troops in Australia, then I will just be going for North America. But it looks like Africa will be it for the purple player, so I will just add my troops into Australia. The black player is making a way for the orange player to move his troops out into Europe. Or at least he is offering to do that, maybe the orange player won't appreciate it and would like to keep South America for himself, we are going to see guys, but as of now, I will just attack a territory over here and fortify my army like that. So other players could potentially waste their troops on New Guinea, I mean the blue player could attack at the territory of New Guinea and the purple player could obviously attack the territory of Siam to move his 4 trillion troops from the continent, but he might not necessarily do that guys. Alright, he does that and that's appreciated for sure. Let's send him thumbs up, guys. The alliance with a purple player is appreciated. So far it looks like a blue player is the player who is in the worst position. He cannot really easily capture any of the continents. Yeah, let's send him thumbs up. I mean, I will just want to move these troops out from North America. Hopefully he unleashes the territory of Alaska to me. Hopefully he gets the message. Hopefully he understands that I'm bringing these troops to move out them to Asia, guys. And it looks like he did. He sent me a thumbs up, which indicates that he understands that, guys. Let's actually see what are the ranks of my opponents. The orange player is intermediate. The purple player is a top grandmaster. And right, looks like the purple player is pointing into my territory, so I will let him to attack the territory of Ukraine. He either wants to move in into Europe or move his troops out from. Europe and then getting back to the player's ranks, the black player is a top grandmaster as well and finally the blue player is an expert rank player guys. Yes, thumbs up to the blue player over here. I guess I will immediately capture Australia. On the other hand, the purple player could potentially have a set at 3 cards, so not sure how much I like that, but I guess it isn't a really big probability for a purple player to have that. And I mean, I do have a 10 troop set myself, so if nobody takes Australia from me in this turn, then I will be successfully holding it. And I mean, the orange player moved his troops out from Africa, so the purple player can just obviously take over Africa himself, guys. When he have the reason to fight for Australia, then he could just simply take over wipe out Africa and start getting the troops from over here. And let's go, the purple player is taking over Africa. No Africa no event. Do you think the purple player is going to win the game? Guys, so far it's really known. So far it's me, purple and black are the players who already captured continents. The orange and blue players have been really struggling so far and I mean Especially the blue player, since the black player clearly shows to him that he would like to expand to North America himself. Attack blue, I'm not sure what I want to do, but alright, I will just capture a territory over here and here, guys. I mean, the blue player helped me out by attacking a territory in Australia to, for me to capture that continent, so I helped him out by moving my troops out from North America as well. On one hand I would like to eliminate one of the players, but on the other hand in some sense I would like to appreciate alliances with the players who help me. And then another thing is that if I help the black player to brush the blue player's troops in North America, then he will be holding North America with only two borders. So he will be holding both of the Americas with only two borders to guard. But alright, he didn't capture that, so let's send him thumbs up. Let's send him thumbs up if the blue player doesn't have a set, then I could even potentially eliminate him from the game. It wouldn't be really worth to leave him alive. Or I mean, it doesn't really make much difference either way, but do I have a set to do it? I do. Yes, I do, so I think I will just attack blue, yes, I will attack blue. Let's eliminate him from the game, and how many troops should I add over here? Let's see. Yes, let's see if I make it, guys. Let's see, alright, that's a good blitz roll, and over here, will I make it? Yes! 
Yes, a blue player will get eliminated from a game, guys. Who's have been really good bet rolls? Sorry, not sorry, the blue player, but you ended up being the weakest player, and I eliminate you for the cards. I want to keep a wild card, so I will just trade in a drop set, which is really good at the same time as well. And then I will fortify my army right here. Yeah, let's send them hearts and thumbs ups. I appreciate all of them. Not sure which one will get targeted next, but we are going to see. I mean, I could potentially get trapped in Australia. Especially if a pro player takes down my five troops in Middle East and puts his biggest army over here. And when the black player takes over North America. So I guess I will just suggest him to attack Orange. Attack Orange. As well as for the black player. The orange player sends me a heart, but I think I should really influence other players to attack him. As if it isn't him, then it might be me. But alright, the purple player and the black player as well is attacking me, guys. Which of them is weaker? Well, so actually the orange player. I will tell him to attack the purple player since the purple player is closer. <laughs> the black player sends me a heart, I will send him thumbs down. I mean, I obviously understand what it is. What does he want to do? And let's say a goodbye to the purple player. This is what he gets by being a bad ally to me, guys. Good game. Good game. Well played. GG. This is what I am going to do, guys. I will stick to my loyal ally orange, guys. Attack the black player. Yes, the black player was a bad ally, guys. So I'm attacking him. On the other hand, the orange player is stronger, but let's see. If he attacks the black player as well. The black and purple players were my enemies than my allies. So right now I'm inclined towards being good ally with the orange player since he is the one who is actually helping me out guys. Yeah, let's send him thumbs up and a heart. Hopefully he fortifies his army from the block place next to the black player. Well, he fortified his army in Ukraine, which in this territory is only accessible to me, so... I do not, so it isn't as much appreciated, but after the black player unleashed his army towards himself, I mean, that probably isn't too bad. That probably it's isn't too bad, guys. But it's my plan. Well, the black player was suggesting something, so let's see. Let's see, I will just fortify my army over here. Since I think if I attack a black player, he could really retaliate against me a lot, guys. He could really strongly retaliate against me. So I decided to rather make this move kinda neutral, so to see what my opponents do. As if I attack any of them, then it could really backfire me. So I think it's... It was better to play out this move neutrally. Especially when the orange player received a set and is really strong indeed. But alright, the orange player invades me as well. And is he going to take me out or what's the case, guys? Let's be case. Well, let's send him thumbs up. That was fine. The black player fortified his whole army over here. I guess it will be safer if I trade an asset. Yeah, thumbs up and thumbs up. I just fortified my army in Egypt, so... As otherwise, if I fortified in East Africa and the orange player fortified his army in Middle East, then my army will have been kinda trapped. And as well, by fortifying it in Egypt rather than North Africa, the black player gets... The access to go through North Africa and invade the orange player, but the orange player doesn't seem to be attacking the black player that much. On, but on the other hand, I not really picking strong alliances either. So in this game, we're kind of neutral. So in this game, we're not really having too strong of the alliances, guys. Alright, he sent me thumbs up and alright, both of them want that uh, I will be attacking. Each other, I guess in this point, I will... I guess I will invade the orange player, as the orange player is... As the orange player turn is after me, meaning that he could invade the black player by himself, and I mean, he could just go from my continents. So at this point, I think I do not really care as much, as long as he invades the black player as well. So yeah, guys. I went that we will be attacking a bunch of territories, while I will rather put my troops into one big army. So my troops rather will be in... One big army rather than in a bunch of territories. And please, black, invade the orange player. I mean, do not make me do the dirt. Do not make I will be doing the dirty work by myself. And alright, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thumbs up to the black player. And I will guess I will just capture over Europe. So it will be more of a, of a neutral move. 
which doesn't really indicate whether I'm attacking orange or black. I mean, I'm attacking orange, a bunch of orange territories, but at the same time, I'm not too much, I shouldn't be that much intimidating to neither of the players. And it looks like I have some connection issues, guys. But alright, at least I came back to the game. The orange player recaptures North America and intends to properly guard both of his borders. Well, this game is tough, guys. This game is tough for sure. Let's actually send them up to the black player, as I guess I will just attack the orange player. On what will be the case, guys. I will fortify my... I will fortify my army over here. I'm not sure so far what I want to do. I mean, all of us are in a kind of equal situation. All of us have 40... Around 40 troops. The black player has... A few throws fewer, but on the other hand, he's at 5 cards. But at the same time, I'm at 4 cards myself. So, it is going to be a really interesting game for sure, guys. The black player invades me, kind of forcing me to invade the orange player. Should I do that without guys? Or sh I shouldn't? I don't know. I guess in order to be safe, I will trade an asset. And we'll, we will invade the orange player just over here, letting him hold North America. So he wouldn't be too strong and alright, it looks like he's attacking the territories of the black player guys, but the black player doesn't really have a good access to invade him. The orange player is the weakest right now, but on the other hand he is going to trade an asset, well at least hopefully. Hopefully he trades an asset guys, otherwise he might be taken out by the black player. But so far I think I will stick in the alliance of the black player since... Yes, and I guess I will fortify my troops like that, so... So I will be safe of holding South America, but nobody will be able to invade him. I want to potentially expand to North America myself eventually. So I will be holding both of the Americas with two borders to guard in case a suitable opportunity comes. But the orange player leaves his army in a blocked place, which is... A bit wet. Hopefully the black player is unable to take the advantage of that. Well, it looks like he's attacking the territories of mine, but on the other hand, he won't be able to completely take me out since he's cut off from the Asian territories of mine. Yeah, let's send him thumbs up. Yeah, we'll just stop over here. Yes, send thumbs up. I mean, the black player is quite strong, so... So I do not really want to overdo attacking the orange player. I think that will be fine. I mean, the black player could potentially take me out, but on the other hand... He will still lose the game or will he win it? Will he win it, guys? Alright, the black player won't be taking me out. I mean, that was close. I mean, he might... I mean, he might have... He might have gone for it. Well, I do not... I do not have a set, so that's really risky. I mean, the black player could really take me out if I do nothing. Yes, so I will... Please attack the black player as well, orange. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory, black, because you're much more str because you're quite more stronger than me over here. And if I do not, I do nothing, then I guess I will just give you a wavy game. But alright, it looks like the orange player is sticking to his word and Manuel rolls the black player. I mean, the black player was really close to winning. I mean, he might have even had a great opportunity the last turn to take me out. So, if I waited for one more turn, then I think he will have really won it by receiving those bonuses, trading, potentially trading in a set, and taking me out with all of my five cards. I didn't have a set, so I sh couldn't really allow to risk that, guys. Let's see what the black player does over here. Maybe he doesn't really appreciate me and crushes my biggest army, and I think, yes, he does, guys. He will be completely taking me out from me game. I mean, he will be trading in those sets at once, so let's see who will prevail in the endgame, guys. GG. GG. Are you team orange or are you team black, guys? Black player Malna rolls the orange player over here. Well, that was a bad blood throw. The black player's army is trapped, so I think the orange player has a really great opportunity over here. He could just take over all of his territories and make the black player trapped in Australia. But now it looks like he went the other way around and he didn't try to take the advantage of the smaller armies of the black player in North America. I think that was some mistake for him to unleash the black player's army in Australia. But I mean, the black player has a set anyway and it looks like he is going to win the game either way. The orange player has an 8 trip set, but on the other hand, he won't be able to recapture that many territories at all, so the black player is victor of this game. GG, well played black.